Welcome to Mabin Antique Auction Gallery. We have a very exciting event coming up on March 25th at 10 a.m. It's the discovery of art here in North Carolina from the late Mr. Costin out of Fayetteville. Mr. Costin, a brief history, collected art in the 1970s through the 1980s, traveled the world, and made some major discoveries. We have a wide variety of textiles and a huge amount of silver. Very fine timepieces, wristwatches, as well as pocket watches, lighting, and other very interesting objects, such as clocks, Civil War, military, and important World War II discovery. Also, a outstanding selection of Native American artifacts, such as beaded moccasins and related. Also included in this event, we're very excited about the 1931 Graham automobile, an all original, even down to the lenses of the lamps. Everything's original on this car. Also, experts have looked at the car and they feel it is the original paint. This rust-free, original, possibly one of the finest Graham cars known that is original. Also included on March 25th, lot number 300. Here recently at Mabin Antique Auction Gallery, lot number 322 and 323 walked in the door unannounced by a family here in North Carolina. When we seen the paintings, we got real excited we knew who the artist was from Austria. With a little bit more investigation for the family, they prepared documents here for me where they've inherited them from their parents that fled Austria in 1939. And here's a quote. I do not remember a time in my life when the paintings were not on the wall in my parents' living room. They descended through the family. These paintings were brought back from Austria and were sold for the original owners. Lot number 322 and 323, authentic, original Austrian paintings displayed in the original wooden frame, never removed. We're very excited about these. Lot number 42 that was discovered at the Costin Art Collection in Fayetteville, we've had more emails and calls about this particular painting than any other painting in the auction. We are unable to identify it. Please look closely. Mr. Costin had paperwork in behind it, identifying it. Look closely, ladies and gentlemen, this could be an, an important new discovery. The story of the George Jameson Portraits of Kings is very interesting and very well documented. Commissioned around 1633 when Charles I, uh, the King of Scotland, returned back to his hometown. They were commissioned by George Jameson and apparently he painted over a hundred. They were meant to be lined up on the streets leading to the throne room. So as Charles I would walk through, he would see all the lineage before him, uh, you, you know, leading up to his throne. And out of those 126 were found, in 1971 when Dowles did an auction at New Battle Abbey for the Marquis of Midlothian. Uh, Mr. Coston and his friend Edgar Boone attended that auction and purchased 10 out of the 26 known. We also have the original catalog that they had with their pencil and pen markings and there was also uh, an attendance in that auction was Duncan Thompson who wrote a book, The Life and Art of George Jameson. And he was actually there and describes in his book every uh, painting, all 26 that were there. And you can go back and reference all the 10 that we have and they match up perfectly, the sizes, the descriptions. When we contacted Mr. Duncan and told him that we had these, he was extremely excited and he said he couldn't believe that they had, they'd all stayed together and he'd always wondered where they were. We encourage all viewers of this video to look carefully at the images and we hope to see you on March 25th at 10 a.m. Thank you.